Amanda Bynes has been placed on a 72-hour psychiatric hold. The actress, whose conservatorship was terminated exactly one year ago, has been placed on a 72-hour psychiatric hold, a source close to the situation confirmed to NBC News on March 20th. The insider added she hasn't been in contact with her family for quite some time. E! News has reached out to Amanda's lawyer and has not received a comment. Amanda was initially scheduled to appear at 90s Con in Connecticut recently with her former All That castmates. However, the California-based star did not make the trip to the East Coast for the event. Back in 2013, Amanda was placed under a temporary conservatorship after multiple run-ins with the law that resulted in an involuntary psychiatric hold. The following year, she found herself back under the care of a conservatorship with her mom, Lynn Bynes, overseeing her financial, medical, and personal matters, following a string of alarming social media posts about her father, Rick Bynes. While Amanda made improvements in her life in the years that followed, including undergoing drug and mental health treatment and returning to school at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, her conservatorship was extended in 2018. In 2020, Bynes spoke out about the cost of her medical treatment in a video posted to Instagram. I want to say thank you guys so much for your support. The fact that you've been rooting for me for years means more than you know. Today I want to talk about a controversial topic. My conservatorship case. I have been going to a treatment center that charges $5,200 a month. There's no reason why I shouldn't go to a therapist who takes my insurance for $5,000 less a month. This is why I've asked to see the judge next week regarding this conservatorship issue. Thank you guys so much for hearing me out. I'm sorry that this is what I'm dealing with and I'm sorry to put my problems onto the internet, but this is what life has come to. So thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Love you all, peace out, appreciate your love and support. Love you guys, bye. Amanda filed paperwork to end her conservatorship in February 2022, citing in legal documents that she, quote, has the capacity to give informed consent to any form of medical treatment and protection from the court is no longer necessary. Her petition was filed with the support of her mother, Lynn. The conservatorship was ultimately terminated in March 2022, with an attorney for Lynn telling E! News that the family is so incredibly proud of the progress Amanda has made over the last few years and is so excited about the next chapter in Amanda's life. Amanda added in a statement of her own at the time, words can't even describe how I feel. Wonderful news.